I'm Nick from Stereo MCs. And I'm Rob, and uh, I'm also from Stereo MCs. The Stereo MCs have existed as a band for nearly 30 years. Having begun on a shoestring budget, this Clapham-based house and alternative hip-hop group made music history in 1990 with Elevate My Mind, the first British R&B single to make the American charts. Their 1992 album, Connected, itself containing the hit single Step It Up, Creation and Ground Level won a Brit Award for the best album the following year. Quince Garcia from Roadworks Media interviewed the band about their success and their love for music. Yeah, maybe mid 80s, early 80s. You know, I just started making music. We, um, we met a guy called John Baker and a DJ called Richie Rich. We started a record label called uh, G Street Records. Uh, which was like a little hip-hop label, cottage industry type thing, you know, sell, going around the record shops at first, giving out 12 inches. And, uh, you know, it got kind of got slightly bigger. And like I said, we were signed to Island Records. We made a couple of albums, toured around the world with different people from De La Soul to Happy Mondays. Like Nick was saying, when we started getting into uh, early rap music and electro, uh, the, the sounds we're hearing were so completely different from anything we'd heard before that it was like it just made you want to re-educate yourself about music and you just to a degree you had to just erase your memory when I was a kid I was into punk rock you know so like uh, I, a lot of music I'd, I hadn't even touched on so hip-hop really educated you about all forms of music I've lived in Brixton since like uh, 1990, I think. Wow. So quite a, quite a long time. I definitely think it has an impact. You know, it's like you go down the road, and there's like the butchers' shops have got sound systems. It's nice hearing all different kinds of music and just seeing different kind of different kind of cultures going on. You know, there's like a Jamaican food shop, and then there's these sort of white English guys with their fish shop that's been there for years and it's like, you know, it's yeah. really, everybody's, everybody's kind of got a pretty good vibe. It's a proper neighbourhood. From what, from what I see, you know, and especially over the last couple of years, uh, it, it feels like uh, we're in a really overcrowded city where people are just rammed together and a lot of opportunities are being shut down I was going nowhere for ages and there just came a point where uh, I just stopped and I stopped doing all the things I was doing and I just started, I don't know what made me do it but I started swimming and me and Nick started making music together and a few things just magically started happening. It was just like a new chapter for me. It was just one of them things where, you know, you got a little vibe on a, a sort of bit of, you know, a little piano thing, you know, and uh, and uh, basically my missus at the time came in and just said, oh, you know, so why don't you call it, you know, about when you was a boy. When I was a boy, I didn't understand why encouragement was kind of hard to come back. She sang a couple of melodies and I just took it away and thought, oh, well, so I'd never have thought of doing that, and just developed it. You know, we put it together on a laptop at the end of the day. You know, we mess around with a lot of different things. We use uh, outboard gear, synthesizers, and real instruments, and we also use, you know, sort of plugins and stuff that, uh, you know, that people do on, you know, more modern sounding recordings. If you want to make music, you've got to make it for the right reason, because you love making music. I think, um, I think it's tough, but if you want to make music, just go out and make it. Try and do it yourself, as much as possible. If you've got something worth having, um, you know, gradually it will start happening for you. You know, I used to watch Top of the Pops and I had dreams of like being this, that and the other, but I just loved it all, you know what I mean? And I never thought I'd be, you know, when we started out, you know, rapping on, 
you know, on heavy hip hop grooves and stuff like that. I never dreamed I'd be doing that. But like, it was amazing. You know what I mean? It's amazing where it, it led us. And that's all I can say, really. I was just a, a guy with a dream. <laughs>